Since childhood, Yulia adored dogs and often remembered her parents' shepherd dog. After moving out from her parents, Yulia rented an apartment in a quiet area with good neighbors and got a job as an accountant. After some time, Yulia decided to adopt a dog from the shelter that she had long dreamed of. After visiting several animal shelters, she finally found what she thought was the ideal option, a growing shepherd puppy who looked at her with intelligent and slightly sad eyes as if begging her to take him home. Leaving all doubts behind, a happy Yulia took her pet with her and named him Bronx. The dog quickly settled into the new owner's small apartment and felt at home there. Yulia also became very attached to the affectionate and playful dog. Still, Yulia was very surprised when one morning she found Bronx sleeping next to her in bed. Of course, she drove the pet out of her sleeping place, but for the next few days, the same thing repeated itself. Waking up in the morning, Yulia discovered that the dog was sleeping next to her. No matter how Yulia tried to explain to the animal that its place was on the fluffy rug at the threshold, the situation did not change. But the owner did not have the courage to hit the pet in order to wean him from such a bad habit. Yulia became very attached to her new furry friend and eventually came to terms with his strange but so cute habit. Everything was going well and the new worries that Yulia had about caring for her shaggy pet were a joy to her. It was only after a couple of weeks that Yulia began to notice that she woke up completely exhausted and could not crawl out of bed. Although all her life she had gotten up easily even without an alarm clock. At first Yulia did not pay attention to this, deciding that it was a matter of monotonous routine work which, frankly speaking, did not arouse much enthusiasm in her. But over time, Yulia's well-being worsened, and a nasty weakness became her constant companion. Therefore, Yulia decided to take time and go to the doctor. The doctor examined Yulia, prescribed several tests for her, but medical studies did not reveal anything special that would allow a definite diagnosis. Upset, Yulia told the doctor about her pet, who had recently taken up the habit of sleeping in the same bed next to her. Then the doctor, without thinking twice, came to the conclusion that Yulia was allergic to dog hair. He prescribed her several medications to suppress allergic reactions and also advised her to minimize contact with the animal. Upon returning home, a worried Yulia followed the advice of the specialist, started taking pills and tried to persistently explain to Bronx that his place was on the doormat. After a couple of days, Yulia felt a little relief and the dog obediently slept in the corridor. Therefore, pleased, Yulia decided that the doctor was right. All that remained was to complete the course of the drug and she could enjoy life again. After some time, Yulia finished all the purchased medicines, but stubborn Bronx still sometimes climbed onto the bed at night. In addition, Yulia herself not only did not fully recover, but weakness, lethargy, and apathy returned to her with renewed vigor and turned the poor girl's life into a real nightmare. The upset girl did not know what to do now or who to turn to for help. Bronx was just as active and cheerful as when she took the animal from the kennel and sheltered him at home. Therefore, Yulia concluded that it was not him. But Yulia's life, despite the contented pet at her feet, became truly unbearable. The girl even had to take a leave of absence from work at her own expense since her thoughts were constantly confused in her head and she could not concentrate on her responsibilities. When Yulia was completely desperate and thought with horror that she might have a fatal illness, a friend who worked as a veterinarian came to visit her. Seeing the sad state of the owner and learning that all this began after the acquisition of Bronx, the acquaintance persistently advised Yulia to bring the dog to his veterinary clinic to confirm or refute his suspicions. Yulia's situation was hopeless, so she had to follow the veterinarian's advice. However, during an external examination of Bronx, nothing could be found. So, the dog was subjected to several rare and rather expensive tests, the results of which had to wait a whole week. This week seemed like a real hell to Yulia, who was weakened to the point of impossibility. When she finally received a call from the veterinarian, she immediately picked up the phone. The man, in an excited voice, told Yulia that she had contracted a very rare, extremely dangerous disease from Bronx, which could not be detected without special research. This terrible disease is rarely transmitted from dogs to people. In Yulia's case, this happened due to constant close contact with the pet, most likely at the moment when they were sleeping next to each other. The veterinarian prescribed an urgent course of very powerful antibiotics for Yulia and her pet, adding that if the girl had held out a little longer, everything would have ended very sadly for her. At the same time, Bronx himself did not manifest the disease in any way. He was only its carrier. Yulia immediately started taking medications just like her pet. 
After completing the course, the girl felt significant relief and the results of repeated tests showed that the disease no longer existed. That day, Yulia finally breathed a sigh of relief, tightly hugging her pet, who inadvertently almost killed her. She also allowed her beloved pet to fall asleep next to her on her big soft bed.